Oh, we want to turn and take you now to President Biden. He is speaking. Let's listen in. We see in our economic investments, which has helped generate millions of jobs across both our nations. And I sincerely want to thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for your bold leadership across all these issues. You personally made all this possible. And I would assert our alliance has never been stronger in our entire history. So today I look forward to discussing how we can even deepen it more, <laughs> including increasing defense and then technology and cooperation across the board. And we can also discuss how we can continue to enhance and ensure Indo Pacific remains a free, open, and prosperous region of the world with us standing together. And thank you for being here, Mr. Prime Minister. You've heard me say this before, but I'll say it again. You're a genuine leader, a true partner, and a good friend. Thank you for being here. Well, Joe, thank you so much for those very kind words of welcome. And I'm very grateful to be invited to the United States for this official visit. My wife, you, can, you go and I are sincerely grateful for the warm hospitality extended by you and Dr. Biden. え、これまでジョーと私は数限りない対話を積み重ねて友情と信頼を培ってきました。ま、それによって今や日米は up until now, uh, Joe, you and I, we have had countless uh, dialogues, and we have nurtured a friendship and a trust along the way. Japan and the United States are now at the forefront in, in maintaining and strengthening a free and open international order or based on the rule of law. Japan and the United States are also indispensable now to each other in driving sustainable and inclusive economic growth as well. え、日本とアメリカのえ、この課題絆をま確認するとともに、日本とアメリカがどんな未来を、え、築こうとしているのか。ま、これを世界に、え、そして、え、それぞれの国に対して、え、つまり内外に向けて示す貴重な機会にし
watching President Biden meeting with Japanese Prime Minister in the Oval Office there. Uh, ahead of a state dinner, Biden saying the alliance between the two countries has never been stronger. Prime Minister Fumio Kushida uh, says that he's grateful for the Biden's hospitality, saying that they've nurtured their friendship and trust over the years and that the relationship is indispensable to economic growth. Now, the two leaders are set to hold a joint press conference later this afternoon. And of course, we'll keep our eyes on that.